The homeland arrives at the city, and it causes several scarcity and parents are divided from their kids. One of the victims of this situation is Will Bauman who gets separated from his son Charlie. Another group in the country, called the Resistance, takes it upon itself to fight against the homeland. The series starts with Bauman's family. Their father, Will, under the disguise of Billy Sullivan, attempts to prepare breakfast and asks the kids if they would like to take eggs. While his son, Bram, reluctantly accepts the idea, his daughter, Gracie, says eggs are gross. He tries to explain to Gracie that eggs aren't gross, they are just the offspring of hens. As he speaks, one of the eggs falls and it breaks. He attempts to pick it up to no avail, and he hits the table repeatedly, calling his wife's attention. His wife comes to meet him, and she walks towards their notice board. She gives a list to Bram, telling him his responsibility then the family sit for breakfast. After eating, Bram plucks some fruits, returns home with them and sits with his sister. Will looks at the kids with concern, and his wife tells him Bram is a great kid. He replies that the two children are great kids. Will goes to work on a very normal day after kissing Katie and wishing her goodbye. Katie lets him go in hopes that he will return that evening. However, upon getting to work, Will works as a car parts seller along with some colleagues. They park the car parts in his truck, so he will take them to the Santa Monica border. Before leaving, he asks one of his colleagues if he will follow him, and Carlos refuses. He gives him a message for his parents as Santa Monica. Upon arriving at the border, Will is searched by some of the men there, and then he meets the person scheduled to illegally transport him into Santa Monica. He talks to the man who reassures him he has taken over 37 people through that same journey and they will be fine. They enter the truck and pour ice on themselves. They arrive at Santa Monica's border and they are being searched to leave for Los Angeles. The man asks him why he is leaving and Will tells him he will find his son. Despite Will's fear about the search, they are searched successfully, but as the truck moves, there is a bomb blast, probably from the resistance. The truck turns over but Will survives. He comes out of the truck and is arrested. Katie, on the other hand, travels with her dog to a locally made pharmacy. Upon getting there, she meets with an older woman who claims she sells locally produced insulin. She says insulin is important because it's needed by people who can't afford the ones in the hospital. Katie follows her to the room, and the lady asks for her exchange means. Katie brings out a bottle of wine to exchange for the insulin. However, when she touches it, she finds out it's a bad one, and she asks for her one back. The one refuses to give back the wine, so Katie brings out a gun and gets his wine back. Bram is also on the field with some of his friends. He exchanges some oranges for things he needs until a boy, Jackson, comes claiming any exchange could only be made under his command. Bram and the other boys hit Jackson and run away. While in prison, Will screams for his privilege, claiming he wants to call his wife, but they do not allow him. At home, Katie is concerned about Will as he has never been home late before. She receives a visit from her sister, Maddie, and her son, Hudson, who needs insulin. She promises Maddie she will get the insulin, and she tells Maddie to stay with her child as she wants to find Will. Bram begs her to remain home because it's almost curfew, but she refuses. She meets Carlos and asks him if Will went anywhere after work, but Carlos says he has no idea. Upon leaving, the drone is about to sight her, so she hides under a truck and escapes afterwards. The next day, she visits a friend, Rousart, from the resistance and asks about Will, but the man asks her to check the hospitals. When she gets there, she hears about the bomb blast from the resistance, and she steals insulin. She returns to call Browsard and asks about the party. He tells her she isn't on the invite list and he doesn't know if Will has gone there. At the prison, some officials take Will to a green zone. He meets a party upon entering and goes up to meet LA Governor Snyder. Snyder calls him by his real name and mentions that he is an FBI human hunter who has found over 30 criminals for the FBI. He offers to give him his old job back on the condition that he will work for the homeland. Snyder tells Will that the world is changing and the homeland will lead their country despite the violence of the resistance, so it's better he works for the industry who will stand after the crisis. He asks Will to help him catch the resistance leader, Geronimo, and he will be released. He shows Will the crowd at his party and asks Will to stay on the winning side. When Will rejects the offer, he tells Will that he has committed crimes and that his family will be sent to labor. That night, while Katie looks through the door, she sees the homeland's car and assumes she is about to be arrested, so she asks her children to pack, but Will enters. He tells them he was caught under curfew and has been released. After hugging his family, he goes for his bath and meets Katie in the bedroom. They have intercourse and when they are done, they talk about the crime Will has committed. She fears she may be arrested with her kids and sent to labor, but he tells her Snyder has offered him a job. Katie refuses him to work with Homeland, and she claims that if he does, the Resistance will kill him. However, Will replies that the Resistance isn't doing a great job too, as they are only killing random people. 
they argue that night and she walks away. The following day, they wait to Snyder in their house cooking. He gives the kids beacon, which they have been unable to afford for a while, and says he will provide them with all they need and even open up Katie's old bar if they take his job. They offer to take it on the condition that he will find their son Charlie. Katie and Will raise a toast to themselves that night, and the following day, Katie goes to a nursing home. She meets Broussard revealing that she is part of the resistance. She tells the leader they now have an insider in the homeland as her husband now works with them. That morning, Carlos buys necessities with his wife, Lucia and child, Matteo. He gets what he finds, enters the trailer with his family, then returns to work at the garage. Before leaving, his wife asks about Will, and he tells her he is sure Will will be fine. She claims she is more concerned about him as she knows Will will be fine. As he leaves, the homeland raids the garage. While Lucia and Matteo look, the homeland kills Parco, Will's colleague, and arrests Carlos. Meanwhile, upon arriving back home after meeting the resistance, Katie meets Maddie, and she looks very nervous. Maddie asks her why she is that nervous, but she lies because of the morning interrogation. She goes inside to tell Bran that he won't be able to go to school again. The boy protests, but she convinces him that he has to open her bar again and that she needs help. On the other hand, Will resumes at the homeland, he meets Jennifer, who takes him to his boss, and he gets his first mission to find Andrew Hines, the greedy boy who got paid to set the block on fire. He is asked to take Bo as his partner. For his first mission, he decides to find Andy's girlfriend, Teresa, first. Katie gets to the bar, and she meets Brassard again. She tells him she doesn't have any information for now, but he says he wants to know how close the homeland is getting to the suspect at the explosion and what they know. She promises to find what they need. He goes to the club where she stays and convinces her to talk. He then finds Andy on the road. After a great chase, he captures Andy, and a drone comes to watch him. He takes Andy to his workplace, where Bo tells him he should put Andy in jail as they don't get to interrogate suspects. Upon leaving the jail, he sees Carlos. He goes to Carlos to ask what has happened, and Carlos says it's because of the car part they stole for him, and his kid and wife are in the trailer. He returns to his boss to ask for Carlos' release, but his boss refuses, so he goes to the trailer to find Lucia and Matteo but can't find them. Meanwhile, Lucia and Matteo have gone to visit Katie. She goes to Broussard asking that the resistance transport the victims, but Broussard says that's not their responsibility. On the other hand, Maddie attends a socialite program at the Green Zone, where she meets an old friend of hers, George. George is shocked that she is still in the city, as he had assumed she was outside the city before the infiltrator arrived. She tells him it was only her husband who was outside the city, and she is glad she was here. If not her son, Hudson would have been alone. Upon leaving Broussard with no solution to her problem, Katie returns home thinking of what to do, and her husband arrives. She shows him Lucia, and he asks that they leave for their plug, Serac, who helps them with the legal transportation. As they drive there, they meet a roadblock, and the officers ask for their card. When Will shows his card, he is allowed inside. While they process Matteo and Lucia's card, Katie speaks to Will about Carlos. He tells her he was lied to and he has a difficult boss, but he has tried to tell his boss that Carlos is his informant. He tells Katie about his last operation, how he has arrested Andy, and how he will use Andy to get to the resistance head so they can bring him his son. Upon leaving, Katie meets with Broussard, who takes her to Quail. She tells them what she knows, and they inform her they are planning an operation which will be necessary to take over the homeland, but if the team who planned the bomb blast is caught, they will destroy their operation so she should inform them about whatever she finds. Maddie follows George home, and he packs some chocolates for her. She asks them to start dating, but he says he can't do it. However, he is interested in something more discreet, so she walks away. Will returns to work and finds out Carlos has been sent to the factory. He gets angry at his boss and then goes to spend the last moment with Carlos before he returns home to drink. While Katie consoles him, he receives a call from Bo that they have found the team's location. As he goes there, Katie calls Broussard and gives her the address. When Will gets there, all the suspects have been killed and he suspects that there is a mole among them. Geronimo gives a speech on the radio. He talks about a man named Tom who is doing a noble job. During the advent of the homeland, Tom's wife is killed, and now he lives with his daughter, Fiona, and he does his work to protect his daughter. One day at school, Fiona mentions that the homeland killed her mother, which she is actually right, but the teacher hears her, and she reports her. As a result, Fiona is expelled, and her friends stop talking with her. She becomes depressed, and she locks herself inside the house alone. Tom feels really bad to see this, and one day while delivering his package to the truck, he delivers bombs which bombs the block. He says what Tom did isn't bad. However, Tom is a victim because he is one out of a million instead of one in a million, so everyone else should come together and be like Tom. 
That morning, Katie rides the bike with a lady from the resistance, Rachel. They meet the others, and she also meets a teenage boy, Justine, who gives her a gun to protect herself. They are to stop a Homeland food delivery truck. The raid goes wrong and Justine is shot. While Katie tries to resuscitate the boy, Broussard shoots him. They hide for 96 seconds while the drone kills the family that picked food from the truck. They eventually escape and Katie gets home with blood on her hands. She gets nervous and enters the bathroom, then she goes out to meet Will and lies to him. At that moment, Will gets a call from Bo about the raids. He finds Justine there and asks his boss to find his information. They get to Justine's house and raid the home. They find some note that decodes communication, so they arrest Justine's old parents for their son's offenses. Will tells Jennifer it's unfair that the parents are arrested, but Jennifer insists that it will deter the others from doing such. Will returns home and tells Katie about what he has done. He says he will do everything to get his child, and she cries. Rachel calls her, so she meets with Brossard. He claims that he acted for the team, and if he is in the same situation then she should do the same to him. He asks her what she knows about Justine's family. He asks her to ask her husband what the family confess about. She returns to her bar and starts preparing for the reopening with Maddie. She gets home, and Gracie's teacher, Lindsay, who has seen the depressed state she entered the house in the morning, asks her what happened in the morning. She claims nothing happened. On the other hand, at work, Will's boss checks the database, and she brings information about where Justine has been, she gives them to search, and Beam's girlfriend, Pia, also takes him to a supply underway. She begs him not to tell anyone and claims the underway only contains supplies and not people. Upon raiding Justine's secret underground, Will attacks and finds all of the Resistance's ammunition, and the homeland takes it. This angers the Resistance, and the boss tells Browser to inform Katie that if she wants to protect her husband, then the information she is bringing to him must be more important than the harm her husband is doing to them. Browser delivers this message to Katie, and during Katie's bar opening, they sell out completely. Bo also attends the opening. Katie gets nervous during the opening, so she locks herself inside. Will comes to meet her, but she says she is tired of his work and there has to be another way to get their boy, except working for the homeland. He tells her he is getting closer to finding the resistance boss as his boss has a database of information on all citizens called the Rolodex, which is how they found Justine's storage quickly. He reassures her and returns to speak with Bo. He tells Bo he suspects Jennifer is the leak, but Bo tells him he and Will may be working for the homeland due to having no other choice, but Jennifer is a true believer, so she won't do such. During a launch, Katie tells Broussard about the database. However, she says she won't tell him more unless he promises her husband won't get hurt. He makes the promise and the episode ends. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post the other episodes. See you next time.